All right, hello everyone and welcome to another week of distance learning for PE. This week we're going to be going over some of our soccer skills and for specifically we're going to be doing dribbling with our feet. Now I know most of us are going to be inside just like I am so when we're inside we got to be super careful make sure if we have a ball any type of ball we could have a small ball a regular soccer ball, a tennis ball. You might have to get kind of creative with what ball you want to use, but we need to make sure the ball stays on the ground. Because we are inside, I know your parents want to make sure everything stays safe, and we need to be respectful of all of our stuff inside of our house or where we are at, and we want to make sure the ball always stays on the floor while we are dribbling with our feet. Now, if we do not have a ball, that's okay. We can make a ball out of socks and it might be better to be inside using our sock ball anyway so i'm going to show you how to make a ball with some socks now you can make the ball either small with one pair of socks medium with two or you can make a large ball with a third pair of socks now what you need to do is put your socks together just like this and you're going to fold the inside of the socks and just like this so you're going to make a ball where you folded the in inside out your socks so they're together in a ball now that's my small ball so i can make my ball a little bigger by doing the same thing you want to fold the ball inside the second pair of socks just like this And we can make it bigger and bigger. I'm going to do one more pair of socks. All right, so now we have our sock ball for what we're going to be learning with dribbling with our feet. Now, when we are dribbling, again, the ball needs to always stay on the floor wherever you are trying to practice. And we are, when we are dribbling, we want to make sure we touch the ball with either the inside of our foot or the laces or outside of our foot. We don't want to be touching the ball with our toe, with the front part of our shoe, because we don't have control of the ball. Dribbling is all about keeping the ball under control. So if you're playing in a game or what we're going to do in activity today, you want to keep the ball close so you can switch and change directions quickly in case you're trying to get rid of away from somebody or try to go around cones or today we're going to be dribbling and trying to trap the ball on an object and see how fast we can go back and forth all right so when we are dribbling the ball is going to be in front of us and we want to do small little touches because we do not want the ball to be getting away from us and again we're touching the ball with the inside of our foot first so we're going to dribble up do little touches, little touches with the inside of our feet. And then we can stop, turn around, and dribble to the other side of the room. All right. Now, if you notice, the ball never left about arm's length from me. I kept the ball close. I didn't kick and chase. We were touching the ball lightly with our feet, keeping it under control. Now, we can also try to touch the ball with the outside of our foot. Okay, so you want to change directions going right to left but again we are not poking at the ball with our foot and we're definitely not kicking the ball and chasing right, we're just practicing dribbling this week all right i'm gonna have post a second video of a cool activity that you guys can do to practice and see how good you can be at a dribbling now the activity is to see how fast you can go from one spot to the other and trap the ball either on a small book or you can use maybe a mat like this or you can be creative or you can use like a DVD case. Now what you're going to do is you're going to dribble and you're going to trap the ball onto something flat just like this DVD case I'm using. So I'm going to dribble. Then I'm going to stop the ball, 
or what we call in soccer, we trap it, and then I'm gonna dribble to the next place and stop the ball. And I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna see how many times I can do this in 60 seconds. And that's how fast and how well I can stay under control dribbling with my feet using whatever ball you have. All right, so there's gonna be more directions for the ball, for dribbling the ball back and forth. And you can try to do that challenge as many times as you can to see how many times you can dribble back and forth across the room, being under control and stopping the ball in one minute. All right, now, so some of us, if we're lucky enough to be able to go outside, we maybe do some passing with somebody else from our family or somebody else that's in our house. Now, if you're passing, again, we want to be nice and under control and we are not kicking the ball with our toe. For, if we're doing passing, we want to hit the ball or kick the ball with the inside of our foot or with our laces or outside of our foot. So if you pass it, you want to take a step and kick the ball with the inside of our foot, aiming for our target. It could be against a wall. If you have a nice flat place outside, or like I said, you could be passing with a partner, either someone in your family or someone in your house that you can play with. Again, you're, we want to use the inside of our foot to take a step, kick towards our target. Now, if you're inside and you're using a sock ball like me and, you're, and nobody minds if it hits the wall, you can still practice passing the ball on the floor, but the ball needs to stay on the floor so you're under control. All right, that's our lesson for soccer this week. You can always email Mr. Moxie or Mr. Drummond if you have any questions about PE. And thank you very much, and we'll see you next week.